What's up everybody, my name is Brian and this is Legacy Escape Box. Today we're gonna show you how to make your very own book safe. So here we are with the starting book. It's a really cool looking book. It's a hardback, that's important. We're gonna use a wooden block to put here on the book to trace your very own space. And then we're gonna leave a little bit of room at the bottom for a little something extra that you won't see anywhere else. We're gonna have space for a key in a portion of the book. This is gonna be an awesome book safe. Here's how we do it. Okay, so there are a few things we need to go ahead and make this book safe. We're gonna go ahead and get a block that we can trace, a box cutter to cut around it. We're gonna leave a little bit of room at the bottom for a key. First, we're gonna use a little bit of glue to glue these sides together. Let's get started. When we do this glue, it'll just help us keep the pages together a little bit while we cut. So that's why we do that. Okay, so this is where we go ahead and open our book to get started. I'm gonna start just a couple of dozen pages into the book. I'm going to use the wooden block because it's a good size for our specific book. I'm gonna cut around this book and off we go. You can see guys, this does not have to be perfect. We're gonna go ahead and cut out what we have. We'll clean everything up later. Always use the extra stuff for more stuff later. We can continue to use this block over and over again while we cut. This book is over 800 pages. So this is a good size to really hide some substantial objects. Okay, just a quick update so far. We are, we're getting there. It's a, there's a lot of pages. As we do this, we're just cutting. We are putting the block in to make sure uh, that the measurements are about right. And we just continue to cut along the book. We are on just page 300 something of about 800 pages. As you can tell, these pages are still glued together. It helps us keep the book intact while we continue to cut. All right, we're gonna keep at it. Okay, so here we are on our book. We've made a lot of good progress. We started on page 27. Here, we went through 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. We're on our way to 600. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of cardboard, two pieces of cardboard, right around page 623. That feels about right. That gives us enough left in the book to put our secret weapon, the key. I want a little bit of room for, for a hidden key. So I'm gonna put this here so that on our last few pages, we don't tear past that page. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up through page 623. We know we've gone far enough here because it's getting quite a bit harder to do on the inside of the book, which happens as you cut into this to make your book safe. Sometimes it'll happen. It looks like it's moved ever so slightly, which is normal, especially once you're three, four, five, six hundred pages in. Looks a little bit messy now, but we will clean up the edges when we're done with the initial cuts. Okay, so I feel like I've gotten to the cardboard. I think I've cut down to it. Yep, I've started to cut into the cardboard here, you can tell. But it's protected those other pages. I 
Okay, there you go. So now we've got down to the end of our book. So we have this as a protector. So now we can open it up. We actually have room to hide our sharpener. You can put that in there. And there you go. We can take our sharpener out. We'll do some cleanup around the edges here. We're not done. We actually want to make room for a key. And I want it to be a secret key. Now we're gonna take another step and put something here. We're gonna put a key, watch this. Okay, so there's still a couple of things I wanna do on this book. I wanna use this envelope, which when we open it, the hole that we use to cut, the envelope is bigger than that hole, so this is perfect. It's wider and longer. So I'm gonna put a secret envelope here. I'm gonna give it two pages. So we've got one page, two pages secret envelope. Uh, I might give it three, that's a cool design. Maybe we can use that in an escape room. Wow, that's a little bit lucky. All right, so we're gonna do three pages. I'm gonna put a secret envelope here. I'm gonna cut it. Uh, that way we can tuck hidden items inside the book along with this. So we have this secret compartment. We'll have this secret compartment. We'll have a few more blank pages and then we'll have another hole here for a key. So we'll have several secret compartments in this book. Key, envelope, compartment. And they're all separated from each other by just a few pages of material. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is measure our wood block, which is about three and a half inches wide. And about, uh, it's almost six inches tall. Three and a half by six, we'll call it. Our book page, by the way, is about five by nine inches. Five inches wide, this was three and a half. So we should go about four, let's call it four and a quarter. Four and a quarter inches wide would be about here. Let's go ahead and make a mark. Four and a quarter inches here. Let's make a mark on the same spot up here. Now we'll cut our envelope. Perfect. We've cut our envelope to size. We're now going to go ahead and attach that envelope. It would cover up the hole here, just fine. But we're gonna move it over. I wanna give a couple of blank pages, so one, two, we're just gonna go ahead and use glue or glue this envelope open to the inside of the book. It's gonna be really cool. Okay. That's what we call the 30 second press. So when it does dry, we're gonna have a secret compartment here to hide more documents. We'll make sure that that's really solid. The next plan is to give a few more pages. Let's start about here. We've still got from page 639 all the way to 830. From 830 to 639, we have almost 200 pages here to hide a key, which should not be too difficult. We're gonna hide our key pretty low. So we're gonna start a new compartment about right here. So what we'll do is measure off a spot that looks good to us. One, two, three, four, five, six lines of text. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's about right. This is just approximate gives us a secondary spot to hide one more thing. All right, let's get cutting.
So now it looks like that we are finishing this portion up. And so we did end up on page 800. So we'll move those out of the way. So we've got a second secret compartment or third though, I guess, depending on how you look at it. So we can fit a key in here of any size. We've got room for a key. We've got room for a stash to put uh, some notes or other paper that you may need. Of course, they can be bigger than that. We've got another compartment that can fit other items. So this is gonna be a really cool book. We're not finished yet. We still need to finish the insides. Let's keep working on this so we can finally get a finished product. At least the cutting's done, right? Okay, one secret if you have it is to get a rotary tool and then it has a cutter, it has sanders. Uh, it is pretty loud, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and it's a good way to clean up some of these loose ends and little flyers on the pages. You have to be really careful with these. You can only use these if you're an adult and you know how to use one, so be careful when you use these. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is put glue here. We do wanna reseal our book uh, so that it's got a good seal inside. Uh, for this one, we're gonna use a glue that's special for crafts. You can also go over it with any other kind of glue stick, which works well. And what it does, it just keeps everything from being too loose. So it'll keep the pages nice and together. So it really doesn't matter what kind of glue you put on it. As long as you've got something on it to help, go back and seal it just a little bit. And the glue will dry, it'll disappear, no worries. This glue does not stay purple, it just lets you know where you've been, which is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put glue on the inside all the way around. When you seal it like this, it softens up the inside, it keeps the pages together, makes everything just a little bit more compact, makes it so that it doesn't break open whenever you open the book. If you see any little extra flyers, you can get rid of those. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and glue our smaller compartment also, all the way around that. After you get everything glued, you can close the book, let it dry for a little bit. One thing that we can do if you want to, depending on your envelope, but you can use a double-sided piece of tape. I'm gonna go ahead and create just a little bit of a pocket here on mine by putting some double-sided tape right here to help give that a seal. I also want to use some one-sided tape on the edges. So I'll go ahead and tape some of these edges down so it stays just a little bit better on these edges. And I'll do this along all four corners. Okay, so I'm finishing up the last piece here on the pocket. So now we do have a pocket. If you have a secret message, you can fold it and tuck it in. All right, everyone, so that's how you make a secret book safe. Uh, we made it out of this book. Just to recap, here's what it looks like when we do open it. We open it up, we have a nice big pocket here, enough room for anything you wanna put in there. We can keep going and it opens really nicely. Um, we even have room to tuck in a secret message. In this case, the secret message apparently is Ulysses S. Grant. And we've got another secret compartment at the back. And when we open that, uh, if I can turn the book a little bit, you can see that we've got a key here. So we've got a key. You can really put anything here. Um, we did design ours for a key, which is really nice. You can put anything you want in these. Um, it turned out really well. The pages flip like this because we sealed them appropriately. And so you can see how the pages move all together, which is really nice. So this is something that takes time to make, but I do think it's well worth it. You'll be able to hide secret messages, anything else that you want to keep a secret. Depends on what your purpose is. 
These are amazing for escape rooms and games. It is something that's fun to make. You'll enjoy using it over and over again. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Go ahead and like the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.